So this is my solar light that's going to go underneath my cabinet. Um, it runs off, right now I'm running it off a 12 volt 7 amp hour battery, but it will actually run from my um, solar panel battery, which is also anywhere from 12 volts to 14 volts. Um, the idea is that at night time this uh, sensor here will pick up that it's night time and the LED will come on and it will do a fading pattern. Now it doesn't look very bright in this video uh, because I have a light on my camera which I'm recording with right now. So if I take my hand away you see that it finishes the pattern and then it turns itself off and then if night time comes again on it comes. Now uh, what I have here is a uh, 7805 which is a um, 5 volt regulator so it can take anywhere from I think up to around 20 volts maybe higher uh, and take that down to 5 volts I have a capacitor on the input, capacitor on the output, the 5 volt output a uh, LDR so light dependent resistor um, I have an 80 tiny 85 here which I programmed with um, Arduino IDE and just a resistor on the um, on the LDR here. I don't have a resistor on the LED, but I probably should. Uh, I made this PCB myself. I went to um, Deco uh, and I bought these these kind of boards here. Um, this one is around 105 peso for five pieces, but these smaller ones are much cheaper. So they look like this: uh, copper on one side. And what I did was drew my design on with a Sharpie marker pen, and then I um, put it in ferric chloride, and uh, this is the PCB, the finished PCB. So you can see, I um, after I did the traces, I used uh, this 1.5 millimeter drill bit uh, to make my holes for the through hole components, put them through, and then soldered them. One thing to remember is that a single LED isn't going to put off that much light um, and I don't intend for it to be a single LED at all uh, my plan is actually just to um, remove this single LED add a couple wires coming off and then that will split into multiple LEDs I've just soldered this one on here as a, as a test to make sure that the system's working and the same with this LDR that will actually be snipped off and um, two wires attached and then the LDR will be uh, on the end of a long wire which means that you can place the LDR wherever you want and you can place multiple LEDs wherever you want and they all have the same fading pattern now this isn't the most efficient way of doing things um, because we're, we're wasting a fair bit of power converting from 12 volts to 5 volts um, with this voltage regulator but it's you know it's really minuscule amount of power that this whole circuit uses anyway, so um, it's not a huge concern. In fact, I can show you how much power it uses uh, on the multimeter here. Just wire this up. Turn this to that one. Oops, Let's see if I can get this steady. Okay, so it's now running through the multimeter via the battery, and you can you see what it's using on there. And if I bring on the light, you'll see that the uh, current jumps once the LED is on. And if we let it turn off again, as you can see it's really just using a tiny amount of power. So it's not a huge problem. Although the more LEDs you add, um, the more power it's obviously going to use. And the hotter that this voltage regulator will get, which is why I've put this, um, this small heat sink on it. So that when I add more LEDs, it can handle the extra heat. You can see the, uh, the fading effect is quite visible in the current where it's using more when it's on full brightness and less when it's on lower brightness. Now this is, um, while I am actually going to use this in my solar controller, it's really more of a test. Um, this is my first PCB that I've ever made um, and it's the first circuit I've made that isn't sort of just a basic breadboard circuit. So uh, pretty happy with it and I think once I add some more LEDs and uh, 
I put this on my solar cabinet, it would be quite nice. Just a nice effect underneath the solar cabinet at night. 